Now, we are again having a very nice question. Indeed, a little bit difficult. Now, this is also, this was in the HOT type of questions and in CBSE 2015. Okay. So, now, let's start with the question. We are having tan inverse x whole square plus. Now, here either you can change this term or we can use this term. So, now to this term, can we write it as pi by 2 minus tan inverse x whole square is equal to 5 pi square by 8. Now, what we have done here, we have used the identity. It was tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2. So, we have used this identity in place of cot inverse x. Okay. Now, this becomes <coughs> tan inverse x whole square plus now let's use an identity a minus b whole square here okay so we are getting for this part pi by 2 whole square minus 2 into pi by 2 into tan inverse x a square minus 2ab plus b square plus tan inverse x whole square. So, this is only for this particular part is equal to 5 pi square by 8. Okay. So, now we are having here tan inverse x whole square plus pi square by 4 minus pi into tan inverse x plus tan inverse x whole square is equal to 5 pi square by 8. Now, I have what I have done? I have used the identity a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Okay. So, now what are the like terms? This one and this one, these two are the like terms. Okay. So, to these two like terms, now we, we are going to write it 2 tan inverse x whole square. One thing minus pi times tan inverse x is equal to because this one and this one becomes 2, 2 tan inverse. This one is here and what about this one? This is equal to 5 pi square by 8 minus pi square by 4. This term I have taken to that side. Okay. So now this further becomes 2 tan inverse x whole square minus pi times tan inverse x is equal to now what is the LCM here LCM is 8 okay we are getting with 5 pi square minus 2 pi square okay so this part becomes what 3 pi square by 8 2 tan inverse x whole square minus pi times tan inverse x is equal to 3 pi square by 8. Now further this, now multiplying 8 to this side we are getting 16 <coughs> tan inverse x whole square. This 8 multiplied by this 2 minus 8 pi tan inverse x, 8 pi tan inverse x and this term comes to this side minus 3 pi square is equal to 0. Now, what this becomes? This becomes a quadratic equation. Okay. So, now again you can move with both the things. Either you can make factors or we can proceed with the quadratic formula. So, now proceeding with the quadratic formula, we are getting tan inverse x is equal to. Okay. Now, what is the quadratic formula? <coughs> we are using x is equal to minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. So, we are using this quadratic formula. Now, now what it becomes? What is now minus b? Minus minus 8 pi this term plus minus plus minus square root of b square 
b square is what minus 8 pi minus 8 pi whole square minus 4 times a times 4 times a a is what 4 times a is 16 okay minus 8 pi square minus 4 into 16 into minus 3 pi square upon we are having 2 into minus 2 into 16 upon 2 into 16 upon 2a so basically now this becomes what this becomes 10 inverse x tan inverse x is equal to 8 pi plus minus minus into minus 8 pi plus minus now this becomes under the root 64 pi square plus minus into minus is plus 16 4 is a 64 and 64 into 3 64 times 3 pi square ok once again 16 4 is a 64 64 times 3 upon 16 to the 32 so now this becomes tan inverse x is equal to now this becomes 8 pi plus 64 times 3 becomes 192 192 plus 64 is 192 plus 64 256 pi square upon 32 ok now this becomes what this becomes further tan inverse x is equal to 8 pi plus 256 256 is the square root of what term 256 is the square root for 16 ok 8 pi plus minus we are having 8 pi plus minus 16 pi upon 32 now finally what we are getting here we are getting tan inverse x is equal to now 8 pi plus 16 it is what 24 pi by 32 and tan inverse x is equal to 8 pi minus 16 minus 8 pi by 32 okay so finally we are having tan inverse x is equal to now 24 upon 32 becomes what correction 8 3 is a 24 8 4 is a 32 so it is 3 pi by 4 and for this part minus pi by 4 we are getting two answers tan inverse x 3 pi by 4 and minus 3 pi by 4. Now, let us write it. Now, I am using this space. After this part, we are having tan inverse x is equal to 3 pi by 4. x is equal to tan 3 pi by 4. One thing and second, tan inverse x is equal to minus pi by 4 one thing and x is equal to tan tan inverse x is equal to minus pi by 4 then what x is equal to <coughs> what x is equal to we can write x is equal to tan minus tan pi by 4 so for the very first part for the very first part we are having this as a minus 1 and this also as a minus 1 ok so <coughs> you can write it here now tan inverse x is equal to 3 pi by 4 and x is equal to minus 1 also tan inverse x is equal to minus pi by 4 and x is equal to minus 1 so x is equal to minus 1 is our answer. Okay.